all these pretty girls gonna react to me Pretty girl, she gonna react Pretty girl gonna react to me Yes, sir What's up, y'all? Listen, man, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about And I'm talking about some serious stuff I'm actually not talking about serious stuff. It has nothing to do with nothing serious except Animal Crossing. I don't know about you, but I take Animal Crossing very seriously. I'm really contemplating something, y'all. And what I'm contemplating is actually kind of ridiculous. My whole island could be flipped upside down on his head right now. And I kind of want to do that. But at the same time, I'm like, bro, why are you going to flip your island upside down just for the hell of it? And it's not really just for the hell of it, because I think that my idea, I actually thought about this on my way to sleep last night. <laughs> I was on my way to sleep. I was like, man, what would it be like if I just tore up this whole centerpiece? Y'all know I got the retail area. It's so lit, man. I love it over there. I'm going to show y'all the upgraded part of it because I was working on it, the, working on it the other day. But what I'm thinking is I should have made the retail area all surrounded around the residential services. Y'all like my dude, you know what I'm saying? He got this braids popping with his skelly. What I was thinking, because the top layer is so lit. I love the top layer. Y'all know that. So what I'm thinking about doing, I mean, look at this. I just want to I just want to let y'all get a vibe real quick. I might have to put Christmas music in. I mean, it's just a whole look, man. We got the, the park clock. Look at the toy store, man. I hooked up. I, I upgraded everybody's house, so everybody got a different type of house. This is the toy store. They got the little car outside and everything, you know. I'm, I'm in love with this idea, man. If y'all haven't done it, I'm going to have to do a little video to show you how to do it quickly. This is going to be the toy shop. It's not even remotely close to being anything at the moment, but I'm throwing toys in there gradually because I want to make it a toy shop. So then that's the toy store. I like the sign, too. That's a dope sign. You already know what Abel's looks like. You already know what the post office looks like. I did add a bunch of boxes and like a little mailman back there i think that's a cool vibe also put the land rover which these are very hard to craft man you got to get old tires old tires are extremely hard gas station looks good the bakery is updated y'all see that come on now man come on now you know that look official we got the little stuff out there cooking the bakery is going to be extremely cool when it's finished both of them the toy store and the bakery but i got another idea Another idea, Sonny. How many villagers could you possibly have? You see, this is the bakery. Of course, it's not nowhere near complete either, but it's going to be lit, man. This island, this town, y'all ain't ready for the Christmas time. And I might just do, like, really long episodes. I just got to get comfortable, man. Like, I just got to get comfortable and do it for, like, hours on end. So, basically, my idea... I'm going to make another villager if I can. I don't know if I'm even allowed to, but I'm going to make one more villager if I can fill up this whole little palette. So my idea is going to be crazy. Now, my idea is to make a gym, right? Because I was looking through my inventory. I see all this gym equipment. I'm like, man, I can make a gym. So I'm thinking about making a dude named Brock. Now, y'all Pokemon lovers, you already know about Brock. I'm thinking about making a dude named Brock and him owning a gym. And putting it over here. I already got the money lined up. My dude look like a little robber. You know what I'm saying? I already got the money lined up for him. And uh, I like the little pillars. It's going to feel like a Pokemon gym. That's my whole goal is to make it feel like a Pokemon gym. And have a new t villager. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I think I am. But what i was thinking about before i went to sleep which is what i was telling y'all is that i wanted to put maybe this is a big maybe is tear all of this up i mean this whole centerpiece tear it up and basically expand the land around the, the town square and then put all the shops on the edges of the town square so like nook's cranny will be where the campsite is each individual business will be on each corner of the town square kind of like how i got it up top where everybody's got their own little square around it that's kind of how the retail will be uh around the the square and then on the edges of the island i can make that wooded you know what i'm saying i can make that forest i can make that you know wooded area 
Um, which I think would be kind of cool, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. That would require so much work. I mean, we talking about hours and hours and hours of work. But, I mean, it spent hours and hours and hours to get it the way it is right now. So it might be something I do, man. You know what I mean? It might be something I do. might be something I do on camera. might be something I do off camera. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to show y'all real quick the quickest way to get a villager. Now, I'm going to probably make this a separate video, but I'm going to bring this video along as well. Bro, I swear I had a shovel in my hand, though. So what I was saying in that video is I'm going to probably drop this gem right here. But I didn't want to do it yet because I'm really, really, really contemplating. Do I want to really hook this center console, this center piece up? I know as crazy as it sounds, as much work as it's going to be, like going over there looking at that. I mean, this is Brock, by the way, if you didn't see it. I just think this would be such a vibe, man, if resident services was somewhere like just imagine if everything. See, I don't know. Everything couldn't be split up. So I'm thinking about putting resident service like where that where this tree is and then kind of spreading everything out to the left and right of it. You see what I mean? And then adding terraforming to the edges. Hey, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> and then having Nook's Cranny right behind it, but not so far behind it that you don't see it. You'd be coming up from the side, and then Nook's Cranny would be like around the back side of it. And that's what makes it so difficult to think about because that means the campsite's gonna be gone. That whole centerpiece. I might even move the museum. See, I don't know. I might not move the museum. And that's what's got me contemplating because. I like the residential being separate from the campsite, of course. I really love the campsite. The way I got the campsite is amazing. I love that. Um, and I also love the way I did the museum with the dinosaurs. And it's so grand, which I think. I mean, if I'm really going to be looking at it, looking at it. I could still leave the museum there. But then it's not going to be, my map ain't going to be as centered off. This is something I'm going to have to draw out. Like I'm going to actually have to get a piece of paper and a pen and get to sketching because this is serious business, man. Y'all might be saying, oh, it's just a game. No, it's not just a game because once you commit to something in this game, it takes days to get it reverted back to the way it was or to change it. So when I decide on what I want to do with this island, I better be damn well sure what I'm going to do with this island. And I really love that the way I did the shopping district. And I, I mean, you know I love residential. Um, I got four villagers, man. That's crazy. Look at all these people. We got me, Jackie. Yo, shout out to, yo, shout out to the comment. Yo, she said Jackie can save 2020, yo. Yeah, she can. Jackie is a sweet old lady, man. Jackie going to save us all, yo. Uh, we got Luna. On Toy Store, Giuseppe got the bakery. I got to change one of their eyes. They both can't have the same eyes. Brock is going to own the gym. I just don't know how I want to do the gym with the museum. Unless maybe I can, you know what? Maybe I can kind of theme the gym and the museum. Because Brock, of course, is rock Pokemon. These kind of look like rock Pokemon. You know what I mean? They kind of look like rock Pokemon when you think about it. I mean, that could be Onyx to the right. Easily could be Onyx, honestly. I never realized how much Onyx looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the, in the face and neck. But I don't know, man. You know? I think it would be cool. You know, you could get a bunch of these warrior statues and line them up and then you could like walk up to the gym. But the gym is kind of the museum. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It looks really cool for the museum. I don't know if I'd want to give the gym that much attention. But then again. Mm, 
this got me thinking, y'all. This got me thinking, man. I want to know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all probably want me to tear up the whole thing and live stream it, don't you? That's probably what y'all want me to do. I don't know about live streaming it, but I might record it. I just kind of like having Nook's Cranny at the center. I wouldn't want to have a museum at the center. Mostly the fact that like when you're walking down this, you can see in the background Nook's Cranny back there with the lights flashing. I think that's a vibe. I don't think I would want to put the gym in with these houses either, even though it probably would look fine. Let me switch characters real quick. Because I want to see what customization I can make the gym look like. Because last night I was trying to come up with a way to make that toy store look like a toy store. I tried to look at inspiration. I was going for Al's Toy Barn. And I think that that was the closest to Al's Toy Barn. And then for the bakery, I, was, I wanted to go with like a pastel, girly, Ariana Grande type vibe. And I think I achieved that with the bakery. I was going to make the bakery a rock face, but I decided not to. By the way, y'all like the new Ariana Grande album? Post in the comments. I think that joint with The Weeknd is the best joint I've heard in a long, long time. Mary was clowning me. She was like, it ain't even that good. <laughs> that song is amazing. I don't know what y'all talking about. I mean, what you talking about? That song is amazing. I feel like I'm floating through space when I'm listening to that song. The way she be hitting them Sunny notes and then Weekend come in and hit them notes and then he in that bitch with a, a Michael Jackson. Ooh, shit. I, love, I love that song, man. Love that song. You know those those people that listen to music and they, they're able to like paint the music? I feel like that song, I could do that too. It's just got a vibe. It just hit different. It actually hit better than that song I was telling y'all about by that one chick. Um... I forgot her name. The song I was on here singing before on Animal Crossing. I wasn't singing it, though. I was just letting y'all hear it. <laughs> My character looks so much like Rollo, man. Is it Rollo or Riley? I ain't watched the Boondocks that much, to be completely honest with you. I didn't like the animation of it. I saw it everywhere, but... So, I don't know. I think his name was Rollo, but I'm tripping. It might be Riley. Y'all know who I'm talking about, regardless. And why did I switch to my character? I don't even remember now. Oh, I remember, because I want to see how I can decorate the gym. Because the gym is like my girlfriend. I just want to get an idea. How could I? I want to see how I can make the gym. What would look good for a gym? What feels like a gym? This kind of feels like a gym. It kind of reminds me of like a heavy bag, some dumbbells. Um... See, this is what I was going to make the bakery look like. I feel like that could be very bakerish, but I think that pink pastel just kind of beat it out. I could also make the gym look like this, but that just doesn't feel like a gym to me. This feels like somewhere like the the three bad wolves would be. Little Red Riding Hood would be walking to Grandma's house in the forest. I mean, it's cool, but I ain't really going for that. And then I could make the gym like all black, like an all black type vibe. I don't want to make it yellow. I mean, I could do all black. With like a big... Nah, it looks stupid. Honestly, I'll be here forever. But I just wanted to show y'all... Somewhat. See, I could do the gym. I can look... I can make it look kind of rustic. I actually like this, though. For a gym. Because for some reason, this reminds me of a heavy bag. It might be the red. It probably is the red. I don't know what kind of door I'd have, though. I like this door probably the best, but would I go with that door? I'm not sure. So I could have a gym look like this. And then maybe do like an Everest, Ever Ready. I forgot. Was it Everlast? Everlast punching bag. I think I got one of them, too. I might have to buy another one of them. This gym is going to be hooked up. I'm not going to lie. The gym is probably one of the easiest ideas because there's so much gym equipment in this game for you to use. So I think the gym might be a whole situation. 
And I think I'm going to make it look like this. Regardless, though, I'm probably going to go ahead and pause this episode because I need to decide what I want to do. I'm not about to sit here and waste y'all time. This red is nice, too. Maybe I should make a fire station, too. Come on, Sonny. How many villages you going to put in here, bro? I'm just saying, they ain't giving us no NPCs. I mean, damn, I was looking for Leaf. I thought Leaf was going to get a shot. I thought Brewster was coming. Shout out to Switch Force. You know what I mean? Uh, Switch Force, man. His ass be thirsty for Brewster. But listen, I think Leaf should have a shot. I think Brewster should have a shot. Give everybody a damn shot because I love having buildings to work with. I do understand why they don't want to do it because my game already slows down. This is not running at 60 frames a second because there's so much stuff in this island. Which would be exciting to see if Nintendo comes out with a Switch Pro. I would actually love to see that, to be honest. Because the Switch, I know y'all on that PS5 Xbox game right now. I'm not buying either one of those because I got a PC. I'm trying to get that RTX 380. So if any of y'all got a plug on an RTX 380, please, please plug me. You know what I mean? I need that joint, yo. I need that RTX 380. And I mean, if you want to charge a couple hundred extra, I get it. So, you know, charge me, uh, I think it's $700. You charge me like $850. You know what I mean? Put $150 in your pocket. $900. Put $200 in your po pocket. I'm not paying no more than $900, though. I'm not about to let you go up in me like that. But $900, man. So if y'all work at the Best Buy, slide me one to the side. Hit me up. Ain't nobody got to know. Nobody needs to know. When I come back and make another video of Animal Crossing, things will either be in chaos and I'll be making them the whole center island look like this, which I'm really contemplating, man. I'm going to have to throw on some music. I'm going to have to throw on some holiday vibes and we just going to get busy with it. I wish I could do that with y'all, man, but this copyright stuff is like terrible. Like, if we could be on here, I could be listening to my actual music. We could be just kicking it. Music could be going in the background. I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode, y'all, because did y'all see this? I think y'all saw this. I love this train set. See that little village that is going through right there? Like, right there. That's what I want my town to feel like. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the ideas that I'm bringing you. This is an ATM machine, by the way. It's really an arcade game, but it looks like an ATM, and I love it. Just gives it that vibe like you Christmas shopping. You know, like you go over here, get you some clothes. Got to get out $500 at the ATM to go over here to the toy store last minute, getting your Turbo Man doll. You know what I mean? Go down to the bakery, pick up the cake for your wife. You know what I'm saying? Hop over to the post office, mail the gifts that you got to mail out to your, to your relatives. I mean, it's just a vibe, man. And then the gym, I think that'll be cool regardless. It's not very holiday-ish, but the gym is still a good idea. I could have made a fire station, too. Fire station is kind of holiday-ish. I'm probably not going to make another villager unless there's a plot of land that needs somebody in it. A fire station is a good idea, though. I might do that. Then we could do the Red Lives Matter flag. That's not a thing for real, but they do have a flag for the firefighters. It's the Blue Lives Matter flag, but with the red line. I might go ahead and do that. I don't know, though. We got a lot to figure out. But I love y'all. Post in the comments. Let me know what you want to see on the, on, the, on the videos, man. Animal Crossing is going to be lit until cyberpunk come out when cyberpunk come out i'm gonna play that if y'all like that on the new channel because we only rocking on the new channel only thing that's going on the old channel now is current events reactions politics stuff like that because the old channel needs to still have some love on it because i spent too much time building that channel up for it just to die so i'm still gonna be pushing on that channel but i'm gonna be making games on this channel and then vlogs on my vlogging channel and I'm not going to cross mix them no more. That was kind of dumb. But I was confused what I was doing. And I wasn't sure if I was going to ever just go back to the other one. But like, I feel like what's the point of going back? I might as well just build this channel up. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Big shout out to y'all. 
Now we just got to hit that uh, 4,000 hour watch time, which I think by Christmas, if I put out a bunch of content, we could hit that. So I might do the island renovation on here with y'all, but I'm probably not going to be super turnt because it's going to be like three, four hour videos. But if y'all want me to do that, all you got to do is let me know in the comments, man. Right now, I'm just walking around the island rambling because I'm trying to get an idea of do I really want to do this? Matter of fact, let me show y'all something real quick. You see how he got, am I showing it? Yeah. You see how this pattern looks like it's a step down and then this is an actual custom pattern. I'm thinking about doing that and I'm also thinking about just doing the stone. The problem with doing the stone around that red is that red looks out of place. I'm not a fan of that red though. I much prefer the gray cobblestone I don't know. I need some I need some opinions from y'all one way or another. And you trying to leave Apollo? Zell just said he was moving. You trying to bounce too? You not bouncing. I like I like Apollo. He's staying. Plus I got your amiibo, so you ain't going nowhere. As far as my villager goes, Zell's gonna leave. It's time for Zell to go. I think I'm keeping blue. I mean Bo. Stupid fucking name. Uh <laughs> I think I'm keeping Bo. I think I might swap Bo out with like Fauna or Eric, but I don't know. So many people have Fauna and Eric that I kind of like having Bo. Keeping Marina, I might get rid of Anka because Anka be looking like she mad all the time. I get sick of her little mean face, but I do like Anka though. Peanut, that's my favorite one. Little Peanut, you know what I mean? Gotta keep Peanut. I like Flora too. Apollo, he the homie. June, she gotta stay. That's Janae Aiko basically. She gotta stay. Agnes, I think Agnes is cool. I like having each different, and then I just got Stitches the other day, which I think Stitches looks like a Christmas toy, uh, but I don't know. He's kind of weird looking, but at the same time, he looks like uh, a Christmas toy that got abandoned, and I was like, oh, all right, well, I'll bring you to my island, man. They stitched you up for a reason, so I don't know. Y'all post in the comments what you think I should do with this island. I love y'all. Pace. Hey, dude, Dan, Dynasty, we in a new mansion, man. You look like he throwing. <laughs> Time for that chrono. Why would you call the police? What is he doing? The energy he brings is so great. This is where the magic happens. Ro roll over. Damn. What did I see? Saw two BBCs. And that's a channel strike. Come on now, y'all.